Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up! here with another video for you. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator on the North Shore of New Orleans. And I come on uh, twice a week, usually, and do some little cards, sometimes tutorials, sometimes just show you what I've been up to. And uh, give you updates on Stampin' Up! and uh, the, the different things that's going on. And one of the things that I want to mention right now is, uh, as I said on Monday, if you saw my Monday's video, that uh, next week we demonstrators are going to be able to see the digital copy of the new annual catalog that will be coming out in May. And with that coming out, um, we are also going to find out what is going to re be retiring out of this catalog and the current mini catalog and what is going to be sticking around. Um, but what we do know, uh, every year we have in colors that will be retiring. And so the 2022-2024 in colors on page 122 of the annual catalog, Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis will all be retiring. Uh, so as I said on Monday, if you are in love with any of these colors, um, this is the time to start stocking up on the cardstock. Um, get your re-inker if you don't have one. If you have the stamp stamp pad and you didn't get the re-inker, make sure you get that as soon as possible. Because once that list goes viral, even though everybody knows these retire, um, th those will be selling out fast. So um, just a heads up, if you want any of those, think about getting those sooner than later. Okay, because the longer you wait, the more chances you have of it being gone and unavailable. So today I am going to be showing you a few cards that I have made with Meandering Meadows. This paper will most likely be retiring, even though this is a an online exclusive. I'm not sure that we've had an online exclusive retire yet, uh, honestly, I, I don't recall. Um, but this is, um, it just came out in November, but it does have Orchid Oasis in it. So uh, unless they decide to carry over Orchid Oasis, um, this paper will definitely be retiring. And um, it is absolutely gorgeous paper. I have showed you on different videos. They've just got a lot of landscape um, pictures, very vibrant colors. And uh, so I've been trying to use some of this and I came up with a few cards. I'm going to show you two cards and then I'm going to do a tutorial on the one that I, my favorite, which is super, super easy. So even if you're a beginner, if you have the supplies you need, um, it's super easy. The first card I did is this Mother's Day card here. This is one of these panel cards that you use a six by six sheet of DSP. It is super easy to do. I did a Christmas card um, that uh, used use the same technique. And I will put a link below to that tutorial. It is called Funfold Christmas Card. Um, of course, it was a different DSP. And then I just did this Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day here. And I didn't put anything on the inside. Um, this is actually very easy to do. This is with our hexagon uh, punch, a heartfelt hexagon punch. And um, to get this rim around the edge, um, you just punch out um, punch out your uh, one here with the sentiment on it and then punch the DSP, I mean not DSP, the cardstock again, and just cut it in half. That's all you do. Cut it in half and glue it on behind, and that is how you get this outline. So this is a really simple, quick card that you can make with a 6x6 six six sheet of Designer Series paper. Um, the next one, this card, oh boy, this one took me a really long time to make because I started it and didn't finish it. I wasn't sure how I wanted to finish it. Um, I took two or three setting sittings um, to get this one done. This is uh, the idea for this circle here. I got online and I can't remember who I got this idea from. I'm almost positive it was Gina Kay, 
but I cannot find the video anywhere. So um, because I started this card so long ago, uh, I just didn't write it down and I don't know where I got the idea from. So I think it was Gina K, but I couldn't find the video. Basically, all you do is you take two different size circles and you do two different card stocks. And the one behind, you might want to make a little bit smaller than this one. And then you just layer them with your DSP in the background. And so that gives it a little frame. And I also, so I did that and I didn't really like it. It was too plain. And my next sitting, I decided to um, emboss these flowers on the corners and I still didn't like that. And then my next sitting, I decided to run this through an embossing uh, folder and that was looking better and I still put it aside. And then the next time I came, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna do these little, this is tiny little sentiment right here. And uh, that's how it turned out. Okay, and then I put the little stamps inside. I'll put all the um, products that I used uh, in the link below, um, not a link, um, description. So now let me get to what we are making today. This is super easy. I probably didn't get everything I needed out. I need my um, tear and tape. I always use my tear and tape. And I think um, my ruler, yes, my ruler was here. Okay, I think I'm set. So this is the first one I made. I think this turned out super cool i just it is so simple it's not even funny um i had bought this uh delicate forest uh stamp set and the main reason i had to have it is for this die right here i just thought this was really cool and so i decided um the first thing i did is i cut it out and i i inked it and i just didn't like this look I had the um, the DSP, you know, to put over the top, and I, I just don't, I don't know, I just don't like it. I guess it just, it doesn't stand out well enough, I guess, is probably why I didn't like it. And so I put this aside, didn't use it. Then I decided, you know, a silhouette look um, might work, and so that's what I did. And so I decided to put black on black and on the inside, I just put a little strip here. So it is so easy. All you need is your black and the dye and your DSP and that's pretty much it. So um, one thing I did want to mention is, um, and I don't think it's the dye. I don't think there's anything wrong with the dye. It looks perfectly fine, but I have a spot about right here um that when i run this through it does not cut and i even have an intricate plate um i don't know if you're familiar with those this is a chrome precision plate um and it's it's super shiny um but it's metal and uh usually it cuts out stuff really really well and it still did not cut. And so what my tip is, if you have a die, any die that is um, like that, I think mine is the machine. When I'm putting it in there, there's probably a spot right in the middle that's not quite as tight. And so this just doesn't want to cut all the way out. So um, all you have to do is just take, when you line this up on your sandwich, just take a piece of cardstock. Um, just a regular piece of cardstock and put it on top of your sandwich and run that through and that should give it just a little bit more thickness to get that to cut. That's what I had to do with this. So anyway, that is my tip for that. So here's the first card. I made about five of these and I made them all a little bit different. All right, so this is the first one. This is the one we're going to be making today. Okay. Um, this one, I put God is good down here and I think... Let me see, that comes from the Easter Lilies stamp set. I did not get those out, so um, I will list them in the description below. Uh, then the next one is this one here, Heartfelt Sympathy, uh, comes from Seaside Bay. And then I have this one here, Sometimes You Need to Know That Someone Really Cares, that comes from Grassy Grove. 
And this one here, actually, you know what? I think this was the first one I made. These two, one of these two were the first one I made. Um, new Day, New Adventure. Uh, that comes from Feathered Flight. And so those are my um, my cards. They're super easy. And this is one of these, you know, let the paper do the work. Um, other than the die, that is what we are doing. So let me show you um, what we need to get started on this card. All right, we're going to start with a piece of basic black, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. And I forgot to do my scoring, so I'll have to do that. We're going to need a piece of black that is four by five and a quarter, and that is going to be laying on top. This is what we're going to cut our die with, uh, cut out with our die. And then we need two pieces of the Meandering Meadows. It actually comes from the one sheet. Um, you're going to cut a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and then a one a half inch strip for the inside which you don't have to do if you don't want to I just had all these little pieces left over that um, I decided to do that and then for the inside of course we need our basic white four by five and a quarter so the first thing we do is we take your basic black here and all you're going to do is you're going to line this die up and just get that as centered as possible just like that and run that through your machine. And that is going to give you this beautiful cutout. Now, I another thing that I wanna tell you about this die, I did not notice this when I bought it. Um, if you can see these little areas here that do not actually cut all the way out. So some of them cut all the way out and some of them don't. So you can see that we have, hopefully you can see these, these little areas right here that are like little leaves that stick out. I did not particularly care for that because I'm a punch every little thing out person. And uh, so when I realized I couldn't do that, I wasn't very happy. But anyway, you can leave those flat or if you want them to stick out, um, what I did is I took my take your pick tool and I turned it over and then I just pushed them in um, so that they stick up. All right, I don't know if that's gonna show up very well, but that is what I did. All right, there's um, quite a few of them. And like I said, you can leave them flat if you'd like. They're going to flatten out a little bit anyway, probably with the uh, glue. You kind of have to glue this on. You can't use tear and tape. Although, um, if you really wanted this to stick, you could use the adhesive sheeting um, before you cut it out. Um, you would just take this whole piece and cover it with the adhesive sheeting before you run it through. You put the sheeting on one side, flip it over, put the die on this side, cut it. And then on, on the back side, you will have the adhesive sheeting that you can remove the backing and it'll be a sticker. So, I mean, that is one way that you can um, attach that very easily if you wanted to do that. So now that we have this cut, um, all we have to do is line this up. Now, this is why I did this three, uh, seven and three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. It's just an eighth of an inch smaller than this. So that way we can line it up just like that. And you won't have to worry about the DSP edge showing on the other side, okay? So that is what we're gonna do. Um, but first we're going to stamp our sentiment. Um, we could do that. We can do that either. You know what? We'll no wait. We'll glue it first. Okay. Uh, I think that's better because we want to make sure that we get it completely centered. So I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet here, and I am going to take my glue and hopefully it's not going to come out too heavy. Um, and we're just going to put a little bit of glue. It doesn't want to come out. Keep in mind if you're not used if you're not um, 
used to my videos yet, um, this is not the Tombow glue. This is the Tombow glue um, bottle that you can get the Tombow glue from Stampin' Up. And it's actually a very good glue. Um, it works very well, but it's super sticky. And I hate getting it on my fingers. I'm a messy crafter. I get it on my fingers and I can't stand it. So this is actually um, my Scotch Tacky Glue and I refill my bottle. So um, I just refilled it the other day and now I'm having trouble um, getting it to come out. So I'm going to just kind of start it on here to make sure I don't get too much. All right, because I got it really full. So it's just, I just want to be careful that I don't get too much coming out. You just want to put a little around the edges. You don't want a whole lot coming through. So um, if you have one of the um, Barely Art or uh, Art Glitter Glue or something like that, that um, has this little fine tip, That'll be really super easy to use. And then I just put a little bit down the tree trunks, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of more stability. It doesn't really matter. It's going to go on there pretty well. Okay. Then, like I said, we're going to just line this up so that you just have a little eighth of an inch all the way around, just like that. Okay, and then just rub gently. Now you might want to have a paper towel in case you have a little extra coming out around the edge like I do. Even though I try to just put a little. All right, and then of course there might be some coming out the front too. Um, just like that. All right. And there we have our front. And sometimes I can't tell whether it's glue or the flowers. Okay, so that's that. Okay. And we need our cardstock here. And I'm going to bring in my, my little scoreboard. This is not Stampin' Up. I've had this for many, many years before I became a Stampin' Up demonstrator. But Stampin' Up does have one of these um, score tools and it is in the annual catalog it's almost the exact same thing um, but theirs has um, little things up here where you can keep track of different measurements which is kind of a nice uh, feature that i don't have with this martha stewart one all right so we're going to um, fold that at four and a quarter and get the bone folder here Give it a nice crease. All right, and then that's just going to line up right in the middle like that. Okay. And, you know, we, we don't really need the tear and tape. I guess I'm just going to glue it. Um, tear and tape, you know me, I love tear and tape, but if I don't need to use it, sometimes it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to center that right on here like so. All right, just be careful when you rub this so that you don't bend any of those leaves that are sticking out. Turn it over to rub. That always is a good idea. All right, so there's that, and I forgot to stamp it. I knew it. All right, well, that's okay. Um, hopefully we can still get it to stamp um, well. And I thought I had... A looking for the ink pad okay so um i meant to do that before i attached it but i'm just going to get rid of a, this back of the cardstock just to make it a little softer hopefully to stamp get my memento black here and enjoy today i'm gonna just let that soak in a couple seconds here since i don't have the foam directly under and that worked just fine all right now we can proceed so what I did is so this little strip um, on the inside I thought I just line it up that this would match so that means 
on the inside, I want this up here and we're gonna cut off the bottom piece. Um, if you wanted to, you could move it up like that, but I kind of wanted it to match my scene here, which doesn't really matter all that much, I don't think. But that is what I did. So I'm going to put the glue on the top part. And what I do is I just line this up along my paper so I can see about how far down I need to put the glue. And that works out pretty well. Okay. And of course, you know, the silicone, uh, the silicone craft sheet helps um, prevent getting glue everywhere else. And just line that right up like so. And if you have any extra glue there, you can swipe that off like that and take your scissors and just trim off this little piece. There we go. And then of course, we're just gonna glue that on the inside. And this is it. I mean, it was so quick and simple and I just can't believe how pretty this turned out. Don't you just love it? I, I love it. And I'm not a big silhouette person, but I really like this look. It really makes the DSP stand out. So anyway, that is my tutorial for today. All of these different beautiful scenes and like I said, this is the Delicate Forest die. And then of course I have the other two Meandering Meadows cards. I will put the information to all of these down below. And that is it for today. My hostess code is here. It's also down below with my shop link. My shop is open 24 seven, of course. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to order, um, you can reach out to me if you have any questions. And that is it for today. And um, if you like my channel and my videos, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell button so you don't miss a video. And I will see you back here next week um, with more videos and also my announcement of what products will be retiring. Um, I probably will... I don't know how I'm going to do the video yet. Um, I'm probably going to do it the quickest way I can. Um, so I may be just telling you what is sticking around versus what is retiring. It just depends on what all is going out and what's staying. Anyway, but look for that next week. Um, it will not be a Monday or a Wednesday. It'll probably be an off day. Um, I think we get to view the catalog on Monday. Uh, I think it's Monday the 18th. Oh, wait a minute. I have a calendar. Yes, uh, Monday the 18th. So the video definitely will not be on Monday. It'll probably be either uh, Tuesday, probably, or Thursday. And that is it for today. Have a great day and God bless. Bye-bye.